Do your group emails say dear all? Well, you might want to think about that again. Built within Outlook is the ability to personalize every group email that you send. Let me show you how. When you go to your contacts, there are various ways of looking at them. This is me showing them as a group of people. You might have them as a business card. You may go for a card. You've got a phone. But the one we're asking you to do is to look at your contacts as a list. The next thing to do, why don't we start selecting a few people that we want to send the email to. So I'm gonna click on Grace Green, Bill Black, Betty Blue, and just select a number of people that you want to send the message to. This is looking pretty good. Now I've selected everybody, what I need to do is add some category to this particular group of people. So I click on my categorize button. At the bottom it says all categories and I'm gonna create a new category and call them best friends. Click okay and click okay. Now it appears that nothing has changed, but that's not quite the case. We need to now click on view and instead of viewing them by company, view them by categories. And can you see now I've created a group of my best friends with 13 people in this group. Now I've done that, I just click on the category called best friends. I now click on the button called mail merge. It's a little bit scary the first time you do this, but after a few attempts, it becomes second nature. Please choose only the selected contacts, and I'm gonna choose a new document, though after doing this a while, you will have existing documents that you're gonna use. The most important button to press is where it says merge to, not to a new document, but to email, please. So I'm gonna call this email, I like your company. Now when I press OK, it will actually open up Microsoft Word. The first time this happens, it's a bit confusing. Let's type the message. So dear, then we click on the field called insert merge field, and it's now taking me back to the details in Outlook. So I'm gonna say dear first name, click on the, here, your company is amazing. Now what I need to do now is add a signature in. So I'm gonna now go to my mail, click on new email and just copy my signature. Go back to the document, and this is looking pretty good. However, the first time you do an email merge, you're probably gonna be quite scared of how this is going to look, no problems. On the menu is a button called Preview Results. You can then use the arrows at the top just to check that your email is fine. And this is looking pretty good. The next thing to do is click on the button at the end where it says finish and merge and send the emails. This looks pretty good to me. Now we're gonna click okay. When we leave and go back, let's see what's happened. If we go to my sent items, can you see this email says, Dear Ollie, 
this email says dear Betty this email says dear Yasmin if we open up the email that's been sent Ollie has only received one email and has no idea that this was actually a group email how amazing is Microsoft Outlook and that's why I love Microsoft. I do hope you've enjoyed this tip in this video. If you find it useful, please maybe give it a like, maybe make a comment and please share it with your colleagues because this will revolutionize how you communicate with your staff internally and possibly your clients and external partners outside as well. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you real soon.